This video is going to be over how to convert decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. All right, what are we learning? In this lesson, you will learn how to convert decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. Well, why is this important? Well, there are different notations for the same number. One number can be expressed in different ways. This lesson will focus on decimals and fractions. Many times a number is expressed in one notation and you need to see it in a different notation. This lesson will teach you how to change decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. All we have to do is understand that fractions and decimals are really the same thing. Sometimes it is best to use decimals and other times it's best to use fractions. Well, how to convert decimals to fractions? Well, we use the place value of the last digit in the number to determine what the denominator of the fraction will be. For instance, if we have the number 0.24, so if this is our decimal, 24 hundredths, well, our 4 is in the hundredths place value, so that means that the denominator is 100, so you put 24 over 100 because it's in the hundredths place value. Now, if we have 5 tenths, the 5 is in the tenths place, so that means that the denominator is going to be 10 and the 5 is going to be on top. Now, this fraction is not in simplest form. Okay, it is not reduced. So you need to make sure that when it's asking you to give a fraction equivalent to a decimal, that you make sure it's in simplest form. And on your calculator, you just need to put in 5 a b slash c 10 equals, and it should give you a simplified um, fraction for this particular fraction. Now, if you, if you don't want to do it that way and we want to review quickly how to reduce a fraction, remember you need to find your factors. So, uh, um, each of these can be divided by 5 over 5. It's the greatest common factor. So, the simplified fraction of 5 tenths is 1 half. Now, if we have the number 0.84, the 4 is in the hundredths place, so that means that 84 will be put over 100. If you do 84 divided by 100 equals in your calculator, you will get 0.84. Now, remember to simplify your fraction. So that means on your calculator that you need to simplify it. So 84 over 100 simplified equals 21 over 25. These two fractions are equal. They mean the same thing. If you would do 21 divided by 25 on your calculator, this equals 0.84. If you did 84 over 100, that equals 0.84. They are the same. Now, what if there's a whole number before the decimal point? So we have 1 and 589 thousandths. Well, that means that you have a whole number and then you have your fraction. So 589 thousandths, the 9 is in the thousandths place. So that means the thousand is the denominator and 589 is the numerator. And this is a simplified fraction, so that's how you would write it in fraction form. Now you would write this one a little bit closer. Let's try a different one. All right, so we have 25 as the whole number and 5 tenths as the decimal part of the number. So 5 tenths We'd have 10 on the bottom and 5 on the top, and then 25 is our whole number, 25 and 5 tenths. Now remember, we need to simplify this, so this is actually 25 and 1 half. These two are equal. Now, what if we have 
23 over 100, and we need to make this a decimal. Well, 23 over 100 would just be 23.23. If you put it in your place value chart, 0.23. Or you could do 23 divided by 100 equals on your calculator, and it would give you 0.23. Now, when you divide by 100, the decimal point goes to the left two spaces because there are two zeros. So you are going to be taking the decimal point here and moving it back two spaces. Now in this case there are three zeros so that means that when you divide by a thousand the decimal point is going to go back three spaces. One, two, three and the decimal point ends up being here. So because seven is in the thousands place it's going to end there. So that becomes 0.567. You can also do 567 divided by 1,000, and it will still equal 0.567. Now this is 4,000. Now remember, because you're dividing by 1,000, the decimal point is going to go over three spaces. One, two, three. So we have to have zeros that hold this place value. If you wanted to put it in the place value chart, the 4 would go here. You have to have two placeholders. If you put it on your calculator, 4 divided by 1,000 equals, you would get on your screen 0 0.004. Two tenths, there's one zero. If you divide, it's going to move to the left one, so it becomes 0.2. If you would put that in your on a place value chart, this is two tenths. The two is in the tenths place. Or you can do two divided by ten equals, and it will give you 0.2. Now, what if there's a whole number before the fraction? Well, the same thing as if there's a whole number before the decimal. The three goes on the left of the decimal point, and then because there's three zeros here, your decimal point is pushed back three spaces. So it ends up being 3.567. 24 and 34 hundredths. Well, our 24 goes first, and then our decimal point. Because this is three zeros, thirty-four thousandths. It goes back three spaces, one, two, three, with the placeholder, so it's zero, three, four. Our four has to be in the thousandths place. You could also do thirty-four divided by a thousand, and you would get point zero three four, and then you could add your whole number to the beginning. Okay, if you still have any questions, please review the power, uh, this PowerPoint and movie again, or you can contact your teacher for help.